I know many people are into haunted ritual stories, and it baffles me why people would try them, I guess for fun. I just knew I had to warn everyone about the consequences of doing exactly this. So this is the story of a teen girl called Miriam. She lived in America and was 16 years old. Today's teenagers are always on their phones or another device. Miriam also loved her tech, especially her PC. She loved gaming online when she got in from school and when her mum and dad went to bed. She'd lock the door and play for hours. Her favourite game was PUBG and Fortnite. That night, she came across a new game. The Bath Game. She'd never seen an ad for this game, or even heard of it before, but decided to give it a go. Upon opening the game, a set of rules appeared. It stated you must follow the rules whilst playing the game, and you must complete the game otherwise there'll be deadly consequences. Wanting a thrill, she decided to play. The first thing you had to do was have a bath, not a shower, an actual bath. Miriam filled the bath up and then got in. She had no lights on as that's what the game instructed. The second thing was to hold her head under a running tap, whilst also washing her hair and repeating a Japanese spell. She did exactly that. She was having fun, but she couldn't hear anything around her or see due to her eyes being shut and the running water. She washed her hair and got bored of the game. She was about to get out of the bath and grab a towel when suddenly she could hear footsteps. Miriam stayed very still. The sound was getting closer and closer. Then she heard a splash, as though something fell into the water. Now she was scared and didn't dare open her eyes. Unbeknownst to her, there was a woman opposite her, standing in the bath. The splash was her jumping in the water. As she jumped in, she hot her head on the rusty tap, casuring her eye to pop out, and it was heavily bleeding, turning the water red. Miriam was now petrified. She wanted to open her eyes and run, but she remembered she had to complete the game. Miriam managed to say, why did you fall into the bath? She didn't get even response, but that was the third part done. She could now get out of the bath, but she wasn't allowed to look back at all. Miriam went to her bedroom, dried off and climbed into bed. It didn't seem very comfortable today though. She felt on edge, like someone was still watching her. She contemplated waking her mum and dad a few times, but decided to face her fears instead. A few hours later, she managed to fall to sleep. In the morning, it felt like it was all just a bad dream. She had a wash, ate her breakfast and headed off to school. As the day continued, Miriam could still feel a presence watching her. She felt like she was being followed and spied on. In the evening, she and her mum went clothes shopping. She normally loved it, but she wasn't feeling it today. She felt like the spirit was definitely following her, watching her. Her mum found some clothes on another aisle and Miriam was alone looking at dresses. In her peripheral, she saw a woman, which is normal in a boutique. She screamed. The dress in her hand was actually a one-eyed, severed head of a woman with long black hair. Her mum was at the till. Miriam looked at her hands and was holding a dress again now. Handing her mum the dress, she spotted the woman again, who was staring at her. This woman had an empty eye socket, a white torn dress, and long black hair. She rushed toward Miriam, freaking her out. She suddenly remembered a rule from the game before she came to any harm. Tirami! she shouted and ran from the boutique. Her mum followed Miriam, who was petrified and screaming. Her mum said, What's going on? Miriam couldn't speak, she was so scared. Her mum got her to the car, somehow, and they drove home. She could feel the spirit chasing her on the way home. She was following the car, running, trying to get to Miriam. Every time her mum sped up, so did the spirit. Her mum could see the fear in her daughter's eyes. As soon as they got home, she jumped out of the car and again shouted, Tirami! Tirami! Running towards the front door. Her parents were worried and confused. Everywhere she looked, she could just see the one-eyed woman. She was trying to hide from the spirit, running from room to room, shouting, Tirami. But it was useless. The spirit always found her. What had started as a dumb online game had escalated into something sinister. Miriam was feverish and scared, but decided she had to face her fears, or in this case, an evil spirit. Were the rules in the game, the last part had to be done in order to end the game. It was easy. She just had to say Carti along with a simple action. But when she did this, the spirit would disappear and then come back. This went on for a long time and her parents decided to intervene. They gave her a sleeping pill and medication. She finally closed her eyes and her parents watched her fall to sleep. When she opened her eyes, she was back in the bath, like at the start of the game. She couldn't move this time. 
The spirit wrapped her arms around her to prevent movement. Miriam couldn't do anything. She could just hear the sick spirit laughing. As she drowned Miriam slowly in her bath, she shouted Carty in one last attempt to save herself. But nothing happened. She could no longer breathe. Opening her eyes again, she was in her bed. Her parents were checking she was okay. Miriam looked at the clock. It was past the deadline. She hadn't ended the game in time. This scared the hell out of her. She had the same nightmare every single night. Her being drowned in her own bath by an evil spirit. One day her body was found in her bath. She died from drowning. News spread about the game after her mum read her experience in her diary. Ramason, the evil spirit, was after her.